Oil Painting Tutorial. Welcome to my YouTube tutorial on oil painting. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the basics of oil painting, what supplies you need, and how to work with oil paint. Oil painting is a popular medium among artists because of its versatility and richness of color. To start your oil painting journey, it's important to gather the necessary supplies before you begin. 1. Oil Paint. 2. Oil paints come in a variety of colors, and it's recommended to start with a basic set of colors, including white, black, blue, red, yellow, and green. 2. You can choose to buy individual tubes of paint or a pre-made set. 3. Oil painting brushes. You'll need a set of brushes designed specifically for oil painting. 3. These brushes are typically made with natural bristles, which are better suited for handling the thick consistency of oil paint. 3. You'll want to have a variety of brush sizes and shapes to create different textures and effects. 4. Palette. A palette is used to mix your oil paint and is typically made of plastic or wood. 4. It's important to choose a palette with a large mixing area and plenty of room for mixing different colors. 5. Easel. An easel is a stand that holds your canvas in place while you paint. 5. There are several types of easels, including tabletop, standing, and portable easels. 5. Consider your workspace and how much you're willing to spend when selecting an easel. 6. Canvas. A canvas is a flat surface that is primed and stretched onto a frame. 6. You can choose from a variety of sizes and shapes, including rectangular, square, and circular. 6. You can also choose between pre-primed or unprimed canvases. 7. Linseed oil. Linseed oil is a medium used to thin oil paint and increase its flow. 7. It's also used to create a glossy finish on the painting. 7. You can choose between different grades of linseed oil, including cold-pressed, refined, and stand oil. In addition to these basic supplies, you may also want to consider purchasing a palette knife, solvent, and a rag or paper towels for cleaning your brushes and workspace. With these supplies in hand, you'll be ready to start your oil painting journey. Preparing your canvas and easel is an important step in the oil painting process as it sets the foundation for your painting. Here are some additional details to keep in mind. 1. Canvas Preparation. Before you begin painting, it's important to ensure that your canvas is properly stretched and primed. 1. If your canvas is not already primed, apply a layer of gesso primer to the surface to create a smooth and even surface for your paint to adhere to. 1. Allow the primer to dry completely before starting your painting. 2. Easel Setup. Your easel should be sturdy and able to hold the weight of your canvas without wobbling or tipping over. 2. Make sure the easel is set up at a comfortable height for you to work on and that the canvas is securely attached. 2. You may want to consider using clips or clamps to hold the canvas in place and prevent it from slipping. 3. Workspace. It's important to have a clean and organized workspace to prevent any unwanted debris or dust from getting onto your canvas. 3. Cover your workspace with a drop cloth or old sheet to protect it from any accidental spills or splatters. 4. Lighting. Good lighting is essential when painting with oils, as it can help you accurately see the colors and values of your painting. 4. Natural light is best, so try to position your easel near a window or in a well-lit room. 4. If necessary, use a lamp or other lighting fixture to supplement the natural light. By properly preparing your canvas and easel, you'll be able to create a solid foundation for your painting and ensure that it will last for years to come. Mixing your paint is a crucial step in the oil painting process as it determines the consistency and texture of your paint. Here are some additional details to keep in mind. 1. Squeeze a small amount of oil paint onto your palette. Start by squeezing a small amount of paint onto your palette. 1. Remember, a little bit of paint goes a long way, so start with a small amount and add more as needed. 2. Mix in a small amount of linseed oil. To make your paint easier to work with and to help it spread smoothly, mix in a small amount of linseed oil. 2. The amount of linseed oil you add will depend on the thickness and consistency of the paint, as well as your personal preference. 3. Use a palette knife to mix the paint. Use a palette knife to mix the paint and linseed oil together thoroughly. 3. Mix until the paint and oil are well blended and the paint has a smooth consistency. 4. Test the paint on your canvas. Before applying the paint to your canvas, 
Test it out on a separate piece of paper or canvas to make sure you have the right consistency and color. 5. Adjust the consistency as needed. If your paint is too thick, add more linseed oil. 5. If it's too thin, add more paint. 5. Experiment with different ratios of paint to oil to find the consistency and texture that works best for you. By properly mixing your paint, you'll be able to create a smooth and consistent texture that will make it easier to apply the paint to your canvas and achieve the desired effect. Once you have your paint mixed and your canvas and easel prepared, it's time to start painting. Here are some additional details to keep in mind. 1. Sketch out your composition. Before you start adding paint, it's a good idea to sketch out your composition lightly with a pencil. 1. This will help you plan out the composition and ensure that everything is in the right place. 2. Apply the first layer of paint. Once you have your sketch, you can start applying the first layer of paint. 2. Use a large brush and apply the paint thinly and evenly over the canvas. 2. This is sometimes called an underpainting and it will help you establish the basic colors and values of the painting. 3. Build up layers of paint. Once the underpainting is dry, you can start building up layers of paint. 3. Use smaller brushes to add more detail and texture to the painting. 3. Work slowly and be patient, adding layer upon layer until you achieve the desired effect. 4. Use different brushes for different effects. There are many different types of oil painting brushes, each with their own unique qualities. 4. Experiment with different brushes to create different textures and effects in your painting. 4. For example, a flat brush can be used to create broad strokes, while a round brush can be used for finer details. 5. Be mindful of the drying time. Oil paint can take a long time to dry, so it's important to be patient and allow each layer to dry completely before adding another. 5. This can take anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, depending on the thickness of the paint and the conditions in your workspace. By taking your time and being patient with the process, you'll be able to create a beautiful and unique oil painting that showcases your artistic skills and vision. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.